Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free mini photo tutorials. This is a photograph which was taken on a special week that I did, a week wor week's worth of photography. Uh, a charming young lady from the UK got in touch and said I want to spend a week in Paris taking photographs. That's exactly what we did and a lot of interesting stuff came out of it um, in particular because well for a start whenever I go anywhere even if it's a place I know very well chance will will have it that I see something different and here's here's a case in point normally when I go to this place I'm taking pictures of this which is a very interesting collection of uh, copper pans which is the, the symbol for a particular brasserie here in Paris you can see it's Paris as well because of the street sign but uh, this time I happened to look down instead of looking up and I saw this a poor forlorn little cigarette packet if that's not anthropomorphizing too much with his pal the discarded bottle top and uh, this is this is the final result as you can see I've zapped up the colors and the texture contrast and so on as you as usual don't think I've changed the composition because I composed it as very carefully before taking the shot let's have a look uh, you can see yeah, there you can see it's exactly the same. I don't think I've changed it much. Um, and uh, and that's what you get for looking down sometimes, as opposed to looking up. Although I do encourage people to try and not look straight ahead in any case. This photograph is uh, interesting, I think, because here it's completely surrounded by grey, the subject, which uh, could almost be a black and white photograph, in fact apart from the fact you've got this extremely bright cigarette packet and bottle top and there's an echo of the yellow on the cigarette packet which is nice with a slight angle between them always good to have some sort of relationship between the two and apart from the color of course there's this this discarded uh, feeling the fact that the bottle which this used to belong to has, has long gone and uh, this poor old bottle top has no more use and uh, likewise for the cigarette packet compositionally um, well there's a, a nice diagonal line there which I like there's um, and there's another aspect to this photograph which makes it a bit more interesting because I looked slightly to the right and I saw this photograph which I'll show you which I've included below because I've made it uh, a diptych two photographs together and as you can see it's also a photograph which is so almost completely shades of grey apart from another cigarette packet. Let me just click on that and you can see the whole photograph and there it is with its uh, its little brother here again. So what I've done is made it uh, a diptych with two photographs with a lot in common. Completely grey with a bright red cigarette packet in the middle. Now that's um, that's something to think about because you don't have to stay within the frame. Another way of being creative is to think I'm going to create uh, um, a composition which goes beyond one photograph. It could be two, which, but of course they have to share some sort of theme. Looking at this one in more detail, this is a, I particularly like this one. I spent quite a bit of time trying to get the angle right, the angle of this harsh metal electricity box, I think it is with this pipe going up oh I've just clicked off of there with this pipe going up there which the curves of which contrast very nicely and I don't know if I can use the word sensual curves in the case of this but um, uh, in the case of a, a grotty old worn out electricity pipe but um, <laughs> I'd like to think that I can now if you look at this carefully it's at an angle but the only reason it's at an angle of course is because I've tilted the camera it wouldn't be at an angle otherwise and I could have done it quite straight where I'd probably have put it off to one side like this and had the pipe going going up um, up to the top right but in this case I decided to do it this way I got this coming in strongly from the bottom right like that bam, and then made the curved pipe as a nice contrast wind out of the top the top right when this came in from the bottom right but for that not to be too unbalanced on the right 
I needed something here and lo and behold there was our little uh, second forlorn cigarette packet right next to the first one. So I thought that worked well. Also you can see an echo of the shape of the cigarette packet almost perfectly echoed by this harsh metallic riveted uh, plaque with some sort of number on it which uh, gives a feeling of absolute solidity and strength which is in in stark contrast to this which is half open slightly crushed and obviously has been um, affected by by the hand of man as it were so um, oh, looking at this this texture again you can see the light is coming from this side as, as we're looking at it because here on the curve it's there's a strip of brighter lighter gray here it's sort of mid gray and here we're getting into dark gray so that modeling effect of the light even on a dull day as today as as the day was uh, um, gives gives photographs a very nice very nice um, look and because there was a wall on this side that's that's one of the reasons why this was darker not that it was a sunny day or anything now you see the bubble effect here which is also standing out nicely because of this side side light these are actually to to stop people sticking things on them I, I know this as someone who has spent quite a few hours walking around Paris sticking things up for for one reason or another and they work very well it's extremely difficult to get sellotape to to stick to these things uh, but from a photographic point of view it's great because it gives you this lovely rugged texture which I did exaggerate to to be honest so that's pretty much it uh, something which it's a bit of a fetish of mine this uh, what I call street street architecture not street furniture street architecture these these things you find bits of old drain pipes old cigarette packets or, or butt uh, cigarette butts lying in the gutter um, electricity boxes peeling paint it's absolutely marvelous Paris is full of them and uh, in fact any big town will be so something to look for and then look for beauty in those look for some way of making as as I feel I've done here making this into more of an interesting composition almost to the extent you could imagine there's some sort of humanity in it uh, I just thought is that a face there's a smile with some sort of nose and a couple of eyes well that's maybe going a bit too far but you see what I mean and again don't forget you can go outside the frame I decided to I, I shot this as a diptych thinking that I would display them together which I will do well that's it for for this time um, have a look at the the, t the higher quality one on the blog at parasetmefree.blogspot.com and see you next time. Bye bye. Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre. Je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris.